Okay, lesson 13-1, equivalent fractions. So we are going to use our fraction flip book today in order to do this lesson. Um, noticing that when we have one half, wherever we see this line down here, so if we wanna know the equivalent fractions for one half, we can basically place our pencil right at the end line for one half, and then we can see, well, how many one-fourths are in one half, or how many one-eighths are the same as one half, how many one twelfth. So all of these that have a line that ends at the same place as one twelfth will have an equivalent fraction to one half. One third, there aren't, if we do two one thirds, it's not the same as any of the halves, okay? So these lines have to line up. There are certain ones that will line up with one third too. If you look right here and one right here, so we can get one-third and two-sixths would be the same as one-third. Okay, so that's how we're going to use this. So, equivalent fractions are fractions that name the same part of a whole. So look at the fraction strips. This is the same as what we have with our fraction book here. Okay. One whole oops, would be all the way across. Okay, one whole would be all the way across. So this is the page all the way across. This is half of it, and we wanna know how many one six can we fit inside of that half, okay? So here is one half. If we take our pencil and we line it up right where the one half ends, how many one, oops, you can't see that. How many one six fit in to one half? Look at where those lines line up. So. These three, one, six, two, six, three, six, these three are the same as one half. They're equivalent, they're equal to it, okay? So three, one, six strips, one, six, two, six, three, six, are equal to one half. So one half is equal to three, six. The fractions one half and three, six are equivalent fractions. Equivalent almost has the word equal in it. Okay, almost. All right, three-fourths of a fence is gray. What is another way to name three-fourths? They wanna know what is an, an equivalent fraction for three-fourths. So, let's look at three-fourths. One-fourth, two-fourth, three-fourths. Look where this is. Okay, are there any number of halves? No. Thirds, no. One-sixth, no. Here we go, we have one. One-eighth and one-twelfth, okay? so. If we're looking at three-fourths, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, eighths, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelfths is gonna be the same as three-fourths. So they wanna know our denominator's eighths, so they wanna know how many eighths are in three-fourths. So let's look at the eighths. Here's the three-fourths line, one-fourth, two-fourth, three-fourths. So we put our pencil right here. How many eighths are the same take up the same amount of space as three-fourths. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that should be how many eighths? It should be six eighths. Here's three-fourths. There's that line. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? Three-sixths of a fence is white. What is an equivalent fraction for three-sixths? Okay, so here's where we have three-sixths. First of all, you can see right off the bat that this is the same as half of that shape. If we have three out of six shaded, that is the same as half. But let's look at it on the fraction strip. So how many one-half fraction strips are equal to three-sixths? So here's three-sixths. And we need to know how many one-halves are, equ are equivalent to three-sixths. Here's the three-sixths lines. So that would be one-half is equivalent to three six. They're gonna take up the same amount of space. So that should be three six is equal to one half, okay? All right, um, use fraction strips to find out how many one eighths are equal to three six. All right, well, let's look at three six. Okay, we know we need three six compared to how many eighths are in three six. So here's three six, put your pencil right here. How many eighths are equal to three six, count them out. 
This is where our line is right here. So we got three six is the same as how many eights? You should have gotten four eights. Okay, here's three six. Oh, nope, they didn't give us that. We had to use these. Three six, four eights. Okay, all right, use fraction strips to find an equivalent fraction for one fourth. Draw a picture of the fraction strip you used. Okay, so let's look at one fourth. So here is one fourth. Put our pencil right here. Okay, one half does not match up. One third does not match up. Six do not match up. But the eighths sure do, right? The eighths sure do. So two eighths is the same as one fourth, right? So we're going to do one fourth is equal to two eighths. And we want to draw a fraction strip. So we are going to draw a fraction strip that is one fourth. And then right underneath here, it needs to be the same. And if we're talking about this would be one eighth and that would be one eighth, which would look the same as this. Here is one fourth and underneath we have those two eighths that would fit right underneath that. Okay, good job.